G'day viewers, Jason, Joondala Political Services. Um, I was thinking about what video I was going to do today, and I was actually going to do one on my first experience with having to call SIG Energy Tech Support. Um, I know I've been critical of it in the past, not in a way seeing in our um, installer social groups on um, Facebook and so forth, people complaining about not being able to get through. Interestingly enough, I had a really good experience, but that's not what I'm doing this video about. It is about SIG Energy. I've woken up this morning and found out that SIG Energy are going to replace all of their 8, 10 and 12 kilowatt single phase inverters that have been installed. Now, I don't know if this is globally or what. This uh, I'm only seeing what's applicable to Australia, but... Um, as I kind of predicted, uh, there is a lot of problems with the AC plug melting. Now, SIG Energy are putting it down to installer error. Um, installers are kind of putting it down to a faulty design. I'd say it's probably somewhere in the middle. It's, it's um, fairly easy to make a mess of the AC plug. Um, and it is in a fairly difficult area to work and people have terminated them incorrectly they've used the wrong cables they've used the wrong lugs i've done one before where i didn't mention it in the video but the dc charger i added to an existing system um, that had crimped lugs which then go on to a, a screwed terminal one of the one of the cables just pulled clean out the lug it wasn't even tight so that's going to create a hot joint which is then going to create this problem there has been um, a couple of fires reported um, on the AC plug um, and apparently what SIG Energy are doing is they've installed updated firmware on the single phase inverters that if it's seen to be producing full power for extended periods of time, they actually throttle it back um, so that that large amount of current isn't flowing through the plug and that hopefully that uh, prevents it overheating and um, melting or worst case catching fire um, so a lot of people aren't even aware of this if you have got a single phase energy controller or inverter uh, 8 10 or 12 kilowatt um, your system has been um, restricted uh, and if you're off grid as i've mentioned in other videos it's already restricted anyway um, if it's not got Wi-Fi connection and that sort of thing. And, and worse still, if you haven't got Wi-Fi connection, then these firmware updates and the monitoring of that uh, situation with the AC plug isn't possible because the system's not online. Um, so SIG Energy is saying this isn't a recall, um, and I guess it's kind of not, and it's, it's not a recall because it's not a defect, I guess, as such but they're replacing them uh, as a preventative thing and I guess the newer updated units are less prone to, in SIG Energy's eyes, installer error when terminating that AC plug and having this problem. So they're re replacing all of them. They're going to pay installers $500 to replace the inverter, um, which sounds great. But if you've got an off-grid system, then that, you know, from an installer point of view, you now got to go back and replace the energy controller. That's going to cost you a lot more than $500, that's for sure. Um, but the, the flip side to that is I'm also hearing installers complaining that they're not getting paid for warranty work from SIG Energy and so forth. So a little bit of a, a uh, not good situation, I guess. Um, if you have got an 8, 10 or 12 kilowatt single phase SIG energy system, you're probably going to be best off reaching out to your installer. Um, if you've purchased through a retailer, like a national retailer who employs subcontractors, then this is where you're going to run into that problem, guys, when no one's going to want to know about your situation. Um, the installer's not going to want to know about it because he's booked up for weeks in advance installing and smashing out systems um, to the to him this is just a headache and something he, he won't want to have to deal with so I, I don't know what you're gonna do to be honest um, if you are in WA you can reach out to me uh, 0412 uh, send me a text and I'll see what I can do on your behalf with SIG Energy um, 
this is the sort of work I do, mostly warranty work, problem solving, all that sort of thing. Uh, so you can reach out to me if you're in WA. Um, and uh, in the description, I'll actually put a link to the um, Solar Quotes um, website that's got a full article on the situation as to what's happening. So see how we go. I kind of predicted it. They're being proactive. Hopefully it all ends up working out really well and, um, you know, everyone everyone has a, has a, a, a positive um, experience. I haven't installed any single phase inverters. Um, I've only used three phase systems on all of my SIG Energy jobs. Not that I've done a great deal of them, but if they were single phase, I would have used Tesla. Um, that's just the way I am. And, um, yeah, so, but welcome to reach out to me if you have got one of these units, guys.